All right, skill 18. Uh, solve a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. Uh, the main thing here is to make sure the equation you're solving equals zero, so you can identify the values of a, b, and c. Put those numbers in the formula in place of a, b, and c, and simplify that formula, and that's the solution. Uh, you have to remember that um, the values of a, b, and c uh, are always in this position. So when it equals zero, the value of a is the number in front of x squared, b is in front of the x, and c is the constant or not in front of a variable. So in this example, it equals zero, so that means our value of a is two, our value of b is negative three, and our value of c is one. So go over to this quadratic formula and uh, one big fraction bar. On top, uh, first, uh, substitute in uh, the opposite of b. b is already a negative three, so the opposite of negative three is three. Then you have plus or minus the square root, b squared, so I'll put it in parentheses, so that ends up being negative 3 squared. And then it's minus 4 times a, a is 2, and c is 1. And then the denominator, the bottom is 2 times a, a is a 2, so it's 2 times 2. And the rest of this work is simply simplify that fraction. Uh, first, what's under that uh, square root, let's take care of that. So this uh, is 3. Uh, plus or minus a negative 3 squared is 9 and it's minus 4 times 2 is 8 times 1 is 8 so it's 9 minus 8 and the bottom of that fraction is 4 2 times 2 uh, under that fraction or that square root we have 9 minus 8 which is the square root of 1 so we have 3 plus or minus the square root of 1 over 4 the square root of 1 is 1 so we get this uh, answer x equals 3 plus or minus 1 over 4 the plus or minus part means that you use both the plus and the minus 1 to create two solutions. So one of them is 3 plus 1 over 4. The other one is 3 minus 1 over 4. And if we simplify those, those are our solutions. 3 plus 1 is 4 over 4. 3 minus 1 is 2 over 4. And that gives us an answer of 1 for the 4 over 4. And uh, 2 over 4 simplifies to a half. So these are the two solutions for that quadratic equation, one and uh, one half. So look over that uh, when you're ready. Here's an example for you to try. Let's go ahead and solve this using quadratic formula. Remember to identify the values of a, b, and c. Put them in the formula and do your best to simplify it. Pause the video, work it out, and when you're done, watch the rest of the video and check your accuracy. All right, I'm assuming you uh, finished this problem. One thing I noticed is that before we can identify the values of a, b, and c, uh, it is not in this form. The equation does not say it equals zero. So I've got to rewrite it and make it equal zero. So I'm going to do minus two to both sides of the equation to get it equal to zero. So I'm really going to solve this version of that equation. Five x squared plus x minus two equals zero. So my value of a is five, my value of b is one, my value of c is negative two. So I go to the quadratic formula given to you right here and uh, put in the numbers. The opposite of b is a negative one. Um, the square root, b squared, our value of b is 1, so it's 1 squared minus 4 times a, a is 5, c is negative 2. And my denominator is 2 times a, a is a 5, so it's 2 times 5. So let's take care of what's under that square root. Recopy the negative 1. I have a 1 squared is 1, and I have minus, and be careful with this part, 4 times 5 is 20, times a negative 2 is negative 40. So I have minus a negative 40 under the square root and a 10 under the fraction bar. So I have negative 1, x equals negative 1, plus or minus the square root of 1 minus um, a negative 40 is 41, all over 10. And um, 41 is not a perfect square. And if I were to grab a calculator, it would give me some decimal approximation around 6. Uh, but I don't want a decimal approximation, I want an exact answer. So I can't simplify this fraction anymore without uh, approximating it. Uh, so those are my two solutions. Uh, one of them is uh, negative 1 plus the square root of 41 over 10. That's one of my answers. And my other solution is negative 1 minus the square root of 41 over 10. So that's an exact answer. Uh, if you were asked to use a calculator, you could type that square root part in the calculator and get two solutions. But if you want exact answers, uh, which this skill does, uh, that's it. And that's the end of skill 18.